All right, guys, today we're gonna check out Gearheart, Oregon. Gearheart is a community on the northern Oregon coast in Clasip County, just north of Seaside. It's really connected to Seaside, separated by the Nicanicum River. So Gearheart is really just a little beachfront village. Um, there's not really a downtown area. There's not big box stores. I mean, this is true coastal village living. A couple of great golf courses peace and quiet, just a beautiful area overall. We're gonna check it all out today and all that starts now. All right, let's talk about Gearheart, Oregon. So this is definitely an area that is unique in that this is a true coastal village, primarily residential. You have one little intersection with a bakery, a cafe, a little wine bar. There's a post office there, a couple real estate offices. You have the golf course and the McMinimins Gearheart Hotel right in the middle of Gearheart. So Gearheart really makes one big loop around this golf course property. There's a ton of little dead ends. Again, it's all very residential, mostly pretty dense, especially the closer to the ocean you get, the more dense the houses are. Of course, you know, they wanted to, I'm sure, build as many houses in here as they could to get as many beach houses in here as possible. Once you get a little bit further away from the beach, it does get a little more open. So you do get some lots that are uh, a little bit larger. There are a couple little pockets where you can get lots that are a third of an acre, half an acre, but primarily this area is pretty dense. And again, all residential. So that's certainly unique for towns on the Oregon coast. There's about 1500 people that live here. So it's certainly not the smallest town on the Oregon coast. There are some other areas that are similar and have a similar feel. Nesquin comes to mind, but Nesquin is really about 30, 40 minutes north of Lincoln City. And so in Nesquin, you're much more isolated. There's an area called Bayshore and Waldport has a similar feel like this, really a resort type living area. Again, primarily residential. You don't have any big box stores. You know, you might have a convenience store, but no grocery stores, no hardware stores, things like that. Tons of second homes, tons of vacation rentals. Although in Gearheart, they have definitely been cracking down quite a bit on vacation rentals. I believe there's only one zone left in Gearheart where you can do it. I think there's a wait list. Um, it is something that they look at and renew every year, but harder and harder for sure to be an investor in Gearheart and do the nightly rental, short-term rental, that type of thing. But again, a very unique area overall as far as the type of living that you would get if you were looking to live here full time. But it really feels like a suburban area a little bit as well. It feels more like a bedroom community. It feels more like a neighborhood than you get in some of these coastal towns on the Oregon coast because a lot of towns on the Oregon coast are centered around a little downtown area. There's a ton of tourism. It has more of an urban feel in a way in that it's more bustling. There's people coming out to the beach. There's people out staying for the weekend or for the week. You definitely get that in Gearheart for sure. But again, it feels more like a purely residential area, which, you know, really it is. All right, time out. Before we go any further, if this is your first time to the channel or you've been here and you haven't already and you want to get more videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button, tap the little bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. Gearheart is a town that is connected to Seaside. So Seaside is just south of here. Seaside has about 7,500 people, probably a little bit more when you look outside of the city limits. And this area overall probably has 10, 12,000 people, but Seaside has the hospital, has the grocery store, you know, has a lot of the restaurants, has a lot of the entertainment things that you might want to get out and do if you were living in or staying in Gearheart. Uh, and it's just a stone's throw away. I think it's three miles from the center of Gearheart to the center of Seaside. Five, maybe 10 minute drive. Traffic can get pretty heavy on Highway 101 here and there's not a direct through way from Gearheart to Seaside. So they are very separated in that there's no through traffic aside from Highway 101 going on the highway. So a much different feel, a very sharp contrast between Gearheart and Seaside, but it is right there. You have the Nicanicum River estuary uh, that separates the two areas. So again, you can't really get to and from that easy unless you get uh, back out on the highway. And 
Gearheart itself, definitely a higher end area when you look at real estate prices for sure. Median sale price right now is about $690,000. The median list price in Gearheart, $750,000. Ranging up to, I think, about $2.5 million is the highest price listing right now. Uh, and there are some condos though too. So uh, the condos, when you look at like price per square foot, things like that, compared to other areas on the Oregon coast, uh, going to be priced a little bit higher, but a uh, lower entry point if you do want to get into the studio, one bedroom, two bedroom condo. HOAs though, 400, 500, 600 bucks a month. So, you know, depending on if there's the, if that trade off is worth it, everybody's a little bit different as far as what they're looking for. But point being is, I mean, you can definitely come in here and spend quite a bit. You can definitely come in here and not spend as much, probably looking at a condo or some of the few little beach cottages that there are here. Uh, there are some of the little 800, 900 square foot cottages that are very prototypical Oregon coast beach cottage in Gearheart. But a lot of, in particular, the oceanfront that was built really as long as 100 years ago, 100 plus years ago, some of these homes, really old, really cool historic homes uh, are big. You know, these are these are big 2,800, 3,500 square foot homes, four, five, six bedrooms, really meant to be kind of vacation uh, beachfront homes. And the, con and the construction that you see, have seen over time in these areas continues to reflect, I think, uh, the style and architecture and everything that you uh, have gotten, uh, you know, from when they started building initially. So definitely some very stately homes in here. Certainly some more modest homes too, 1,500 square foot, uh, so a lot of single level, three bedroom homes, but those are going to really start probably around 600,000 in this area. You go through, you see all the cedar shake siding, you know, uh, again, very typical, prototypical, kind of quintessential Oregon coast beach home feel. And there might be something in some CCNRs or something written into uh, the zoning ordinance uh, in Gearheart. I should probably know that, but uh, that actually requires people to have uh, the same type of siding. I think there's white cedar and red cedar. They end up looking very similar as they start to wear over time, but you know, it's like that house and a lot of what you're probably seeing uh, in this video, uh, you get so much of that in Gearheart. You know, there's very few homes that deviate from that type of siding. So there actually might be something in the zoning ordinance that requires that type of siding. That would be something to, to, to look into and to learn more about for sure. Not a very pretentious area, certainly uh, an upscale feel overall. Uh, very nice, big, well-kept homes. Again, a pretty big range and a pretty diverse offering as far as homes, home sizes. Again, you can get the condos as well, but it does overall in general feel a little bit more upscale. Residential areas, which, you know, this really all is a residential area, but uh, driving around, driving through the streets in Gearheart feels a lot similar. Uh, feels a lot like, very similar to Cannon Beach, which Cannon Beach I know is an area that a ton of people love the highest priced area on the Oregon coast. So certainly an area that uh, not everybody necessarily has their sights set on because of that. Gearheart will be a little more attainable. You are here on the Northern Oregon coast. Cannon Beach is just a 20 minute drive down the street. So if you like Cannon Beach, Gearheart would be a good spot and maybe, you know, kind of a good middle ground, but still going to be one of the more higher priced areas on the Northern Oregon coast, really on all of the Oregon coast. And this stretch here, uh, Gearheart, Cannon Beach, Arch Cape, Manzanita, um, and Oceanside, which is a little closer to Tillamook, those are gonna be the highest priced areas on all of the Oregon coast. So Gearheart is very firmly in that category. We talked about some of the areas to the south. So Seaside connected right there. Everything you need is right there in Seaside. You're gonna be able to get to Cannon Beach and Manzanita, some really cool sought after, really popular uh, little coastal communities on the Oregon coast, very accessible from Gearheart. Now, if you go north, uh, you can get to Astoria in about 20 minutes from here. So really quick drive up to Astoria. A lot of people love Astoria. Astoria is, you know, a bigger, more booming town, you know, over 10,000 people. So uh, bigger than Seaside. 
and uh, is also going to have a hospital and the hardware stores, the big box stores, whatever it may be, things that you would need in your day-to-day -day life are gonna be also accessible in Astoria. From Astoria North, you can get to the Long Beach Peninsula as well. So you can get up to the, the Washington coast and that Long Beach Peninsula, really cool area, totally different feel and dynamic than what you get here on the Northern Oregon coast as far as the landscape, you know, very flat, different scenery. So it's a cool change of pace. If you wanna get out and explore, you know, living in Gearheart, there's so much you can get out and do, get out and see. Not to mention, you know, Portland is about an hour and 15 minutes away. So you're going to be able to get into the Portland metro area in just about an hour and 10 minutes, probably. Probably going to be about 90 minutes to get to downtown Portland. It's probably going to be a little bit closer to an hour and 45 minutes to get to the Portland airport. So if you're living in Gearheart and you see yourself traveling from time to time uh, by air, you know, the Portland airport is going to be your best option. You're going to be inside of two hours unless you're just, you know, right in the middle of rush hour, you know, then it's, it's going to be a little bit longer typically. So there are a few public access points or access points. All of the beaches in Oregon are public, but there are a few access points for the beaches in Gearheart uh, right here. And uh, like a, a lot of this coastline right here where uh, town stops where the residential development has uh, stopped this uh, this coastline here there's a dune and kind of a meadow here so it's a pretty good walk to get to where I'm standing uh, or from where I'm standing to the beach so you know if you want to be right on the ocean right on the beach that's gonna be a little bit harder to attain in Gearheart but you know, certainly you are right there. You also have still a very beautiful view of, you know, kind of this rolling dune meadow area, uh, you know, living all up and down here. Now there, there are a couple of streets that go all the way down right onto the ocean. There's a little, uh, little conclave of uh, condo buildings closer to the McMinimins Hotel, uh, some resorts, nightly rentals and condos in that area that do get a little closer right down onto the beach. Uh, that's uh, actually where you can drive onto the beach too, which is pretty cool. Check it out. And one of the cooler things about Gearheart is that you can drive on the beach. So I think there's about an eight mile stretch going north to south here in Gearheart where you can hop on the beach, don't have to worry about the highway. We're taking the roads in, you can drive on the beach. This allows you to find an area that's a little more private. So of course, it's really nice to be able to live in Gearheart and walk to the beach. But, you know, especially in the warmer months, Gearheart is a resort style town. This is an area that a lot of people come to to vacation. And so to be able to get onto the beach, drive up a ways a little bit, it allows you to get a spot that is a little more private for you. So uh, something that's unique about this area, you know, you can't drive everywhere on, on the Oregon coast. Uh, this is one of them. But I think overall for anybody looking to move to the Oregon coast, if the Northern Oregon coast is a region that you feel like is going to suit you best, you know, if you're looking for a community that is really quiet, laid back, beautiful homes, really kind of checks all of the boxes as far as what you would envision living on the Oregon coast, beach access, the beautiful beach homes, quiet, peaceful, still have all the trees around you. You know, you have the coastal range just set back here. So a little bit of a cloudy morning here. We're just approaching noon. So this is going to continue to burn off. Um, you know, you do have views of the coastal range here. So a really dynamic, beautiful, lush landscape. Uh, again, I mean, you know, these are things that so many people tell us they're looking for when moving to the Oregon coast, just as far as the landscape, scenery and environment that they want to live in. Gearheart is going to check all of those boxes. Uh, again, quiet, small, peaceful area, you know, connected to a larger town, basically in Seaside. So you have everything you need, have everything you want. You'll be able to get to Portland very easily, Astoria to the north. Um, I think, you know, one of the downsides of living here, and we can talk more about what some of the other downsides might be, is that this really is a second home, vacation home, resort type community. So a ton of people live here full time. Again, there's about 1500 residents, but you're going to get a lot of people coming and going. You know, when you get people on vacation, some people aren't as respectful as others. So especially some of the houses that are still nightly rentals, you know, and it's not just a family that comes out 
or you know a couple families that share a particular property you know people definitely come out here and throw parties you know um, they they don't adhere to the the street signs as far as the street parking goes I mean garbage noise those are definitely going to be things that you could be up against living in a community like this so you know how bad that's going to be and um, how much you're going to be up against things like that uh, probably luck of the draw a little bit as far as you know what's uh, to the left or right of you or across the street from you as far as um, you know properties that are vacation rentals but I don't think it's something that you're going to be up against all the time necessarily. Uh, and if Gearheart's an area that sounds interesting, if you want to learn more about it, if you want to learn more about communities that are similar to Gearheart, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, click the link down below in the description of the video, schedule a Zoom call with us. And on that call, we can talk about your preferences, what type of area you're looking for, your budget, your timeline, and really put together a game plan for you. If this, if this video is helpful, make sure to hit the like button. That helps us out a lot. If you want to get more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Tap the little bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. As always, we really appreciate you watching. Until next time, we'll talk to you later.